um welcome to my video um this week i had been working on a, a crochet hat it felt like it took me forever to make it but i just got finished making it so i decided to record myself just finishing it up um and the details to it so let's get started let me fix the camera you guys so y'all can see Okay, so we're going to pause it real quick <laughs> because this light that I have on my camera, it just, it won't, it got the camera moving, so I'm going to just pause it real quick. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. My daughter is uh, in here distracting me. So, you got to be quiet with the paper. <laughs> so, I already got the beads placed where I want them to go. So, put some thread on my needle get to sign these beads on hmm. okay. so you guys I had a doctor's appointment today for my stomach I feel like it's the, I keep doing the same stuff. They did another ultrasound. I don't know what was the results. They said they had called me in a couple of days and let me know. But, I don't know. I just had other test results, uh, tests that I've had done in Georgia sent here. So maybe that uh speed up this process because they saying that they can't do surgery without doing these other tests first because insurance purposes. And it's like, I don't know. It just feel like they don't think what's going on in my stomach is serious. So they just go take their time. I've been dealing with this for like over a year and a half now. I didn't take any time. I'm trying not to feel discouraged, but it can be hard trying to, you know, not let it get to your head. But, um, I just don't know what to do. I feel like I've done everything that I can that I can in my power. I don't know what else to do, you guys. So, I don't know how many times you're supposed to loop this around. I'm going to just do it two times. So 
because I got a lot of beads to put on. So I'm going to probably do like a couple on video and then I'm going to go off the video and do the rest. And then once I'm done, I'm going to come back and close the hat up so you can see how it looks. And add whatever else I'm going to add to it. Ooh, Malia, that marker is strong. Huh? You better not be out there sniffing that marker. I always sniff it. No. Why? It make you dizzy. It's already making me dizzy. It's not making me dizzy. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm Yeah, stop sniffing that marker. I say just a little bit. It's not a lot. Why won't you go get your crayons instead of using that marker? They walk up really strong. You call that already. <laughs> what? You call that that was all by you that is way strong. <laughs> yeah. Why get this anyway? It's way strong. Well, I got that marker to use when I'm sending out packages to write on the box. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I bought that marker. I think you had used up all my markers, so I just bought another one. I accept your apology. Scared the crap out of me. The kitty did that. Yeah, I know your kitty did that. I did it again. I know, I hear her. Some people don't like loud noises. And sometimes being quiet help you think better. If you're talking, it's hard to focus on what you need to think about. So sometimes you got to be quiet to, my, to my know. My grandma likes to be loud. <laughs> you better not hear, let your grandma hear that. Get you. Why? Why? Tell me she like to be loud. I mean, she was like to be loud. Uh oh. I dropped my knee to you guys. So, so far, <laughs> I got these two right here. So, um, I don't know if y'all can see that. See what? Let me zoom in. Uh, see what? Uh huh. I was talking to the camera, Malia. See what? He's telling me to see what. <laughs> see me um, sewing in the the beads. You just crochet them? What? Like you put a needle in them. Like, do this. I'm not crocheted, crocheting the beads on. 
I'm sewing them on with needle and thread. Okay, you guys, I lost my needle somewhere, so I'm going to find it and go ahead and sew on the rest of these beads. And then I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. And then we go close the head up. All right, I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Okay, we back. I have sewn on all the beads. So now let's close up the hat. I know it don't look like a hat right now, but it will once I close it up. I just learned this this new technique of making a hat. At first I was um, doing it like, um, I guess the old fashioned way. <laughs> but yeah. Uh oh, you guys. Wow. What I'm doing is just going through um, each loop on the side of the hat and I'm doing slip stitch. So I just started watching Greenleaf for the first time. I know I'm probably late. I'm always late to the TV shows because I don't really watch TV like that. But that show is very interesting. I actually got on to watching it because... Um, when I went to get my nails done like a week ago, maybe it was two weeks ago, um, the people that own the nail salon was watching it. And I was like, wow, <laughs> this show is intense. So I was like, I need to go back and catch up to where they was at. Cause I didn't know what was going on. I I I I stop, kitty. Ooh, y'all hear her scratching on the wall? That mug is irritating. But yeah, that show is very interesting, and I bet it make a lot of Christian people mad. Cause you know how Christian people are is, oh, it make us look bad. But, hey, people make you look bad. They ain't got nothing to do with the show. They just tell them truths. And truths make people look bad. So, if you feel like your truth make you look bad, maybe you should reevaluate yourself. Nobody want to look at their truths. And try to fix it. They rather just cover it up, and then get mad when somebody talk about it. Say they trying to make them look bad, but you know. Good morning, Malia. Oh, it's not a good morning. Why? Cause you tired. Why you wake up then? 
Well, it's time for you to wake up anyways because you got to talk to your teacher in a little bit. Almost finished closing my head up. Well, on the side, anyways, we still got to go back and close it up at the top. This pattern that I did for this hat was super easy, but I feel like it took forever to do this pattern. I think it took me like a week. But mainly because I kept stopping. So I don't know if it's because I wasn't doing it consistently. Okay, I'll fold it over at the end, closed up, I can cut this piece off and just weave it in at the bottom. See, 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 you can't even really tell where I closed the hat up at. But now we're going to close up the top. So I'm probably just going to take the rest of this yarn that I just cut out the end and use that instead of cutting out more thread. <laughs> so you're just gonna do this like you um you sewing. I feel like I might be doing something wrong, you guys. I'm not completely sure. I probably was supposed to tie up the ends. Maybe. But you don't do like every loop, you do like every other loop. And you're just doing it at the very top. And while I'm doing this, I'm also uh, like weaving in that end that was hanging that I used to um, start the hat off. Then we just pull it a little bit. You can see it starts scratching up.
you can eat it or not. Okay. So, just pull it tight. Uh oh. What about you guys? Well, I'll get in the camera. Hit the camera. So, just gonna tie this up. Very good. a little more like a hat. So, now what I want to do is finish it up. Add the puff ball to the top. Mommy. Yes, Malia. I need braces. You need braces? Yeah. Why you need braces? No, you. Are you asking me why I need braces? Mm -hmm. I just want them. I want to straighten my teeth. Some people say I don't need them, but I feel like I need them. Stick that through there. Did you hear me? Going in the living room? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back. Uh huh. I need to hurry up and get you on the computer. So, I got the ball in. and tie it off this way I know the hat will be sturdy and secure You need to go put on your pajamas. Why? Cause you better go talk to your teacher. You're not finished. I'm almost finished.
You could be doing that though while you're waiting on me. Leaving it in, tying it off. Tie it real tight a couple times. Make sure it don't come out. See? Now that ball is on there sturdy. The hat is finished. And I finished the little hat. It's so cute. Let me see the little hat. Hmm? Well, it's not little, little. I'm not being literal. I'm just saying I'm finished with the hat, Malia. Mommy. Yes. Um, the pages, when you go around, we go back on the front. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay, so, I'm finished with the hat, so all I'm going to do is just be, um, weaving it. Uh, ends on the inside so thank you for watching me add the finishing details to this hat I'm sure the lady that's getting this hat will love it she just want all my attention like all the time yes Maria We'll bring it here. No. Bring me the paper. No. Okay, you don't have one. Why not? Ooh, this child, I tell you. She, <laughs> she wants y'all to see her drawing. Not my drawing. Oh, they already seen it. What? Oh, she was trying to show y'all my vision board again. Alright, so that is my time. I'm going to be doing some more stuff. Um, some more crochet projects um, next week. So, And also, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me make, um, just, you know, Leave some comments and I can, uh, you know, see, pick some ones that I am interested in attempting to make. <laughs> and we'll go from there. So, let me. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I got my head scarf on you guys because I'm still in my <laughs> I'm still in my uh, morning attire of sleep. <laughs> now I've been up since four, but I just haven't got out of my comfy clothes. But thank y'all for watching. See y'all later.